Hey, hey, friends. Welcome back to another show. I'm super excited that you're tuning in with me today because guess what? We're going to do another fun activity. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start out by going over the kindergarten readiness goals that you're going to learn about today. So the first thing we're going to learn about is identifying your upper and some of you are going to work on your lowercase letters. If you don't know your uppercase, then you're only going to work on those big letters. But if you know both, we're going to do upper big letters and lower little letters today, okay? And then we're going to work on following simple directions. So you need to turn your listening ears on and be ready to listen to Miss Bacon so you will know what to do. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to see if you can read, which means look at a piece of paper and know that's your name, um, and write your own name, but we're not going to use a pencil, we're not going to use a pen, we're going to use some other cool activities. So let's talk about the other activities we're going to use today. So today we are going to use stamps. So here I have my Melissa and Doug wooden, wooden stamp set, and it comes with uppercase letter, letters, those are the big letters, and lowercase letters, the little letters over here. Also in the inside, it comes with some little um, stamp pads, which I have four different colors that I can use um, my stamps on. So if you don't have stamps at your house, that's okay, all right? It's okay. You can just use a marker and a dry erase board to write your name on, okay? We're just working on recognizing and writing your name. But if you do have stamps at your house, you want to go and grab your stamps, okay? You'll need letter stamps, not numbers. So these are letters, A, B, C, D, E, okay? You need letter stamps, a stamp pad. You're also going to need paper because you need something to stamp your letters on, all right? So you're gonna need paper, your stamp pads, stamp pads, and your stamps. That way you can do your name today. Remember, if you don't have stamps, that's okay. Go and get a marker and a dry erase board or a piece of paper and some markers, and you can do the exact same thing. All right, so while you guys are going to get your materials, I am actually going to sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So by the time that I get done singing, you should be back with your materials so we can go ahead and get started. All right? All right, you go find your materials, and I'm going to sing. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again all right so you should be back with your materials and we're ready to get started Remember today, we're going to work on writing our name with stamps, okay? So we're actually going to use stamps today to construct your name. Are you excited? Great! Let's tune in. All right, friends. So here I have my stamps and my stamp pad, and I also have a piece of paper. So if you do not know what your name looks like, you will need a big person in your house to write your name just like I did. This is my name. My name is Miss Bacon. So this right here says Bacon. This is a letter B, 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 B. This is a A, C, O, N. That spells Bacon. So if you don't know what your name looks like, once again, you'll need to go get a big person in your house and have them write your name, okay? If you already know what your name looks like, then you are going to use your stamps to write your name, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna look for, I'm actually gonna start out with all big letters. 
these are all uppercase letters, which means they're all big letters. Uppercase means big. And over here on this side, these are all of my big letters. On this side, these are my lowercase. These are my little letters, my little bitty letters, okay? These are my big letters, uppercase. So I'm gonna use all uppercase right now. As you can see on my piece of paper, these are all uppercase big letters. So the first letter I'm gonna look for is the letter B, B, B. My letter B, B, B is right here. So I'm gonna pick up that letter B, B, B. And what you have to do is you have to use your ink pads. These are ink pads. I'm gonna use one of these colors. You have to put your stamp on the ink pad so that it can get some ink and then put the letter on your piece of paper. There's my letter B, B, B. So that's the first letter in my name. Then I'm gonna look for the next letter. The next letter is A. And here is my letter A. So I'm gonna take the letter A out. I'm gonna put it on my stamp pad. And then I'm going to put it on my piece of paper because A is the next letter in my name. And then the next letter I'm going to look for is the letter C. So here is the letter C. I'm going to take it out, put it on the stamp pad, and then put it on my paper. And there's the letter C. The next letter I'm gonna look for is the letter O. So here's my letter O. I'm gonna take it out, put it on the stamp pad, and put it on my paper. And the last letter I'm gonna look for is the letter N, okay? And here is my letter N. Whoop, barely get it out. There we go. Put it on the stamp pad and then put it on my piece of paper. So right now I made my name using my stamps. And remember, I used all uppercase letters. These are big letters. Uppercase means big, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do now are I'm gonna work on this side because there are some of you who are watching this show who need to know the first letter in your name is always an uppercase letter. It's a big letter. But the next letters after that are lowercase letters. So you need to learn that the first letter is a big letter and the letters after that are lowercase. So we're gonna work on that once again. We're gonna look for the letter B, 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 and remember, it's gonna be uppercase, so we're gonna get the large B, okay? We're gonna get the large B. You're gonna put it on your stamp pad and put the letter B on your paper. Remember, the first letter in your name starts with a large uppercase letter. And then after that uppercase comes the lowercase. So the next letter I'm gonna look for is the letter A. Remember, I'm gonna look for lowercase. That means it's gonna be over here on the small side. So I'm looking for the letter A and it's right here. So I am going to put it on my stamp pad and put it on my paper. There's the letter A. The next letter I'm looking for is the letter C. So now I'm gonna look for the letter C. Remember, we're on the lowercase side, the little letters. And here's the letter C. So I'm gonna take it out. Uh-oh, I can't get it out. This really helps work on your fine motor skills because you have to probably pull it out of your little tray or even just pick it up in order to do your letters. So here's the letter C. 
And the next letter I'm looking for is the letter O. Remember, I'm still over here with the lowercase, so I'm looking for the letter O. And here it is right here. I'm going to put it on my stamp pad. And O. And the last letter I'm looking for is the letter N. Remember, it's still lowercase. It's a little letter. And here's the letter N. So I'm going to pull it out of there. Maybe. There we go. Put it on the stamp pad and drop it on the paper. And there's the letter N. So now I have my name in all uppercase letters right here, big letters. And then at the top, I have my name in one uppercase and the rest lowercase, okay? So, whichever one you're doing, you're gonna refer to that name. If you only know your uppercase letters, if you only know your big letters, you're gonna do this name. And then if you know all of your letters, you're gonna do the upper and the lowercase, okay? All right, so I hope you had fun watching and learning today, but now it's your turn to do your name. Okay, so I hope you enjoy doing that as well. And I'm super excited that you tuned in to another show. Please, please make sure you subscribe and continue watching because there's always more fun activities to come. Well, friends, that's all we're going to do today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.